first of all thank you for having me here uh, this is the first time i have come to pune for a tech conference the topic that i am going to present today is pwa progressive web apps and the objectives have clearly been mentioned in the title only what how why and why not so i'll be telling you about pwas what are those okay uh, is everyone cool with english how many of you are cool with hindi <laughs> preston hands is always up <laughs> okay not cool with hindi cool because like i am from haryana so <laughs> <laughs> so so i'll be using like mixed of both because the objective is not to present myself but present the topic clearly so i'll use the best language known to me also i am a web developer and that's a spider man uh telling about uh, my hometown uh, it's famous for kalpana chawla uh, the astronaut uh, and if you are more into hindu mythology it's the birthplace of raja karn from mahabharat okay so uh, if you know mythology that's karn is called to be a great donor you know donating to the society so here i am contributing to the society okay so i am working for a startup called college duniya uh, college duniya uh, and the project that i am working for is car hp i have spent last 14 months on this project and at present i am single handedly taking care of the front end of the website basically it is a us based website for cars reviews sale and purchase information we have an inventory uh, associated with it we do have a cms um, at college uh, at college dunia we have couple of other famous products also zootons and frisa so these are other products that you might have uh, like heard about because these are uh, college dunia zootons and frisa are indian products like based for indian audience car hp is for us audience um we don't use drupal in any of our projects yet uh, but we have developers uh, we have like very great developers at senior levels uh, who have worked on drupal at, uh, in past and uh, we are always uh, we have a culture like always integrate new things uh, have great minds on the team so that's why they have me okay so uh, we can begin now okay so first of all i need to get an idea uh, what are you expecting from the session because uh, frankly speaking uh, i gave a similar session to an experienced audience of 20 of a head count of 20 and it took me around one and a half hour without a hands on demo so how many of you know what is a pwa cool Uh, how many of you are familiar with the concept of html css and js like how to make a project out of those fine so uh, i'll try to keep it uh, between like easy and medium level so if you have any questions if you have any difficulty in uh, visualizing the concept because uh, visualization is very important here uh, my slides are not as creative as preston's were but uh, uh, i want you but uh, after this slide this particular slide uh, the topic itself is very uh, interesting so you you won't lose any interest there so make sure you understand till last okay so uh, how i differentiate you know, what is the difference between web web app and website for me so for me a website is content focused uh, it uh, it more specifies what to show and a web app on the other hand is how to show and like what to show and how to show so by what i mean by how to show it is more uh, more concerned about how many how things are being managed how what other processes are being uh, what other processes are being carried on so that for me that differentiates a web app and a website so 
in PWS, we use a set of methods and to achieve a certain goal. And we try to have native app like features on, uh, on our web app. As simple as that. Okay. Uh, since I mentioned native app features, are there any Android developers? Can you raise hands? So you are here to know the enemy territory, right? <laughs> so, huh, so uh, I'll be discussing in what scenarios native web apps are better. Uh, native apps are better than PWS uh, and uh, other way around as well. Okay, so that will give you more clarity. So for me. PWS are websites that provide app-like experience and that are stored in cache for our browsers. So PWS has, has lot, uh, in PWS we implement a lot of concepts. Uh, for this session I am limiting myself to caches only. I will be going deep in caches uh, and just telling you the names of others, uh, some of the other features. Okay. So how PWS work? Um, Whenever you, so what are PWS? You have seen those. When you open swiggy.com in your mobile, there is a small pop up which says add to home screen or maybe some other app. Okay. There is a small pop up that appears and it says add to home screen. When you do that, uh, it either goes to the app store link or it downloads the website in your mobile only. Uh, with some uh, with some other files and it's it's uh, it is available in your menu uh, it in your app menu so those are pws if you are getting that notification those are pws basically so uh, this is a very important question key why pws should be implemented uh, P many industries have implemented it like uh, make my trip flipkart olx book my show and many other that are that i couldn't mention on the screen these businesses have implemented pwa they have uh, seen that com customers um, that several of their problems got solved with pws um, since mi is the number one smartphone these days but before that we had issues uh, with mobile storage yes or no like we couldn't install more apps uh, because the storage would go full right uh, so why would that happen because uh, app has some size it needs uh, it needs to be downloaded and after downloading uh, it has to be installed it will make some cache of its own so this was a tedious process in PWA, when, a com uh, when your potential customer comes to your website, you are giving him a simple link to just uh, download the cached version of their website and you can use it as, uh, and customer can use it as their uh, native app. So that's, uh, that's all uh, about it. Uh, you are reducing one step of downloading the uh, APK file or the iOS file uh, from the store to the phone. You are operating the mobile app only, but with the feel of native app. So, um, for the f for the low budget phones uh, which had storage issues, uh, PWS were a perfect match. Uh, like PWS, most of us use Chrome, right? Chromes are compatible with PWA. Like best compatibility are with uh, Chrome only. So this thing seems to solve their issues that's why they implemented it and uh, trust me on this uh, it's it doesn't add to the cost um, me being a front end developer uh, i uh, i re i hardly have any knowledge of uh, i hardly had any knowledge of caches and uh, storage mechanisms and oh, what else how to uh, regex even uh, like how to do this thing i don't even know android uh, but I, I made my P, I made PWA for my project in less than a day. So it is as simple as that. Okay. There is a photo that was being fetched. They haven't implemented PWA. Okay. 
so uh, continuing the why why should we have pwa so there are two screenshots of twitter uh, my profile only uh, one of them is a pwa other one of them is a twitter app screenshot can anyone judge uh, can anyone tell which one is the pwa and which one is the twitter app screenshot so the third screenshot was supposed to be the twitter light app screenshot so any guesses how many of you say second is the pwa raise hands how many of you say first one is the pwa the first one is the native app the second one is pwa so uh, the third one of, of course was the twitter light app and trust me on this uh, you couldn't have differentiated between twitter light app and twitter pwa even when i was capturing the screenshot i myself got confused so that is the level of accuracy these guys have achieved in making the ux similar to the native app and uh, as as i have mentioned that problems uh, there are different problems that uh, native have uh, native have Ha native apps have uh, PWAs are far better. They provide many solutions that native app work uh, does for you. So we'll be continuing with that. So I hope everyone is convinced till the part PWAs can be a replacement of your native app. Yeah. As I mentioned, uh, PWAs do. A lot more than just being like your native app. Uh, it has got caches. Uh, caching is very uh, like caching. We will be covering caching in detail. So um, after uh, other than that, it has got background sync. So you may sync the content or the resources. Your CSS file. You have added a new image. <coughs> Sorry. So these all can be synced by uh, via background sync. PWS support push notifications and very recently like not very recently uh, six months or so uh, six months back or so PWS have been um, Chrome desktop of Mac OS have started supporting PWS. So it is not just limited to mobiles now uh, even your PWS will work as an app in your desktop as well. So uh, desktop PWS are still work in progress but uh, the other two functionalities are quite stable I guess. So how PWAs have uh, helped these businesses? These are reliable. How, uh, uh, why I am saying reliable? They load instantly and um, in websites when we lose the network we get the T-Rex in Chrome like dinosaur game. I know. In PWAs you have a fix for that. Uh, you, can, you can show an offline screen uh, without any effort. Uh, if that particular resource is not available, it is fast. It it catches uh, it stores the resources in the cache as soon as you request for it. So even uh, so, um, f and a native app would have requested the same asset, and it would have uh, requested it again and again. Uh, PWA does that for you. It stores it in cache. Uh, I have been told that making animations uh, smooth in Android and iOS is a tedious task. Uh, with PWA, uh, you just have to be good in CSI, uh, CSS, I guess. Uh, engaging. Uh, how PWAs are engaging? Uh, the same feel that you get on native app is available on your web app. So almost every operation that you can do on your native app is uh, is doable with PWAs. So you never lose a customer, uh, a, a normal customer by using PWA. So PWAs has sep uh, different components that make it a PWA. I'll, uh, these are some set of files, uh, service worker, manifest JSON file, some icons and offline assets. If you have these assets, your PWA is ready. 
other than that what you need you need a cache uh, uh, cache management uh, you have to set cache management for once uh, and then you're good to go so what is a service worker uh, we all know that javascript is a single threaded language like right? single threaded script uh, what service worker is it is a separate js file that which provides another thread to your browser okay what i uh, and what function uh, how javascript your traditional javascript file is different from a service worker js file uh, your javascript file more or less deals with the dom elements right uh, hiding and showing elements uh, maybe requesting making a new ajax fetching data and all service worker on the other hand works with the resources it it is like a it becomes like a watchman uh, who who uh, keeps record for each and every file being fetched and served right so uh, this is what service worker is uh, as i said service worker provides another thread uh, to the uh, to your browser um, and in my third year of my btech i learned that javascript also has threads and threads have a life cycle so uh, i would say service worker also has a right uh, life cycle it has an install event it has an uh, that is the first event that happens when you install a service worker then another event is activate event um your service worker is installed um and but when will it get activated when it uh, you have appointed a watchman but uh, when will he uh, start his duty so this is the activate phase uh, activate phase and then is fetch fetch is uh, the um, whenever you request an asset from the server that is a fetch request it may be a get request it may be a a request for an image file it may be a css uh, file request uh, though all those are observed by fetch event cool so we'll be seeing these in code uh, code as well like how do they look on the on your favorite text editor uh, but the concept remains the same manifest and then we have manifest file so it is a typical uh, normal json file Uh, which has properties for your pws like how your pwa will look uh, i'll be reading the name of the properties and its values one by one this is the screenshot from uh, google google's pwa tutorial and uh, this is the pw uh, manifest for google maps so here we have uh, the first property we have short name aap uh, ऑन योर मोबाइल स्क्रीन जब वो पी डब्ल्यू इंस्टॉल हो जाती है उस ऐप के नीचे उसका नाम लिखा हुआ आएगा द नेम दैट इज दैट नेम इज कॉल्ड शॉर्ट नेम ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज नेम वेन यू क्लिक ऑन दैट आइकन देर इज अ स्प्लैश स्क्रीन विच शोज एन आइकन एंड बिलो दैट देर इज अ नेम ऑफ द फाइल ऑफ द ऐप दैट नेम इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द नेम नेम सो वी हैव शॉर्ट नेम दे हैव मैंशन इट टू बी मैप्स they have name that have mentioned to be google maps then there is an icon and it is an array basically of where and it has various src and types and sizes why this uh, why do we have an array of different sizes of same image maybe uh, because when we are dealing with pws uh, we understand that there will be a, a huge variation in screen sizes maybe your uh, website is being watched in 4 four, 4 uh, inch screen or maybe a 13 inch laptop so to give us consistent feel uh, to give a good feel uh, we developers decide to put uh, icons of different sizes right then we have start url so start url is basically something like how your pwa operates uh, when it fetches the assets what is the base path it can take then we have some color configuration like background color and theme color uh, again uh, this will change the according to your operating system it will set the layout of the theme uh, of your app then we have a display property display property and they have sent uh, set it to standalone so when you open a pwa it 
opens in a it appears to open in a separate window it does not have a chrome uh, you, you can say chrome browser outlines okay so when you keep it at stand alone it gives you gives you that feel technically the wrapper is for google chrome only or maybe whatever browser you have used for to install that pwa uh, the wrapper remains of that browser only but the edges and the address bar all that are not visible in standalone mode uh, all that are not visible there are other configuration in which you can enable that and then there is scope uh, scope defines for what domains of your website uh, for what paths your pwa should be functioning your service worker should be functioning uh, everyone right uh, clear so continuing on icons uh, first they have to be in different shapes oh sorry different sizes obviously uh, plus you get bonus points if you uh, like put cross browser icons as well so i don't know if you are familiar with the uh, with it or not like if i have a site and it has a fav icon uh, it just has a fav icon and i open a windows laptop it has windows 10 maybe so windows 10 has got tiles layout when i click on bookmark this uh, icon so it will get me the tile of that particular website right so you can even con configure that tab the design of that tab also and same goes for safari uh, safari mein aap alag alag icon ko alag color se dikha sakte ho you can avoid safari to uh, implement its default style uh, you can uh, you can control that basically so you just have to google that uh, there are websites that allows you to upload just when one png file and it generates all kinds of icons for you and you just have to change the code and place it in the public folder and then you are good to go then comes offline asset so um, offline assets you can use offline assets wherever you feel your request may fail it may be for the different pages like uh, it may be for the different uh, images and text so suppose you are uh, you have opened flipkart for uh, for the first time you have browsed the shoes section and then your internet goes off when you come back you still uh, get to see the main menu but when you now go to the bags section uh, it shows internet is disconnected like check your connection so that is that offline page that they have they those guys have created to show okay same with the case of placeholder images until uh, images are being loaded that's fine but when it's uh, when images are not being loaded uh, there is some issue maybe network issue or the image path is wrong you can show us placeholder image and placeholder text most of the time they don't show placeholder text uh, but they show a shimmer effect like uh, something fades and fades and fades so this that is something popular these days so the, uh, this also comes in your offline assets now we move to caching so by caching here i mean uh, i purely mean client side caching that happens in the browser uh, uh, it has nothing to do with the server side caching okay so in pws we have caches uh, different caching strategies uh, and based on what type of business you are and what kind of problem you want to solve you can use any of these uh, there is no best method there is no worst method uh, it it just depends upon the situation uh, like uh, in what area do you want to use which cache so i'll be i'll try to i try my best to uh, explain each ca uh, each type uh, with an example so first one is cache only like i want to fetch a request i want to i want to fetch an asset always from a cache i don't want to make a separate call for that so it can, uh, where can we found uh, find it uh, what can be the possible scenario it can be the scenario uh, when you want to show the placeholder images or the placeholder image or uh, sorry the page not found kind of image right so it has to be fetched from the cache only because that is a scenario in which um, your net is not working right 
then we have network only cash so you are suppose you are ordering from swiggy and uh, usme uh, you have selected two items and then you make a request uh, and then you get okay this item has been sold out right so if if it was network only cash you would have seen the live data not the cash data so if you had the live data uh, the you would have received the updated menu only and you wouldn't have uh, selected that item right so uh, for such type of data in which you always need to show the uh, updated content you use the network only uh, request network only type of caching strategy okay then we have cache first so this is something that we implement uh, that i have implemented in my project so by what cache first means uh, first look for the asset in cache if i don't have that asset in cache make a re network request in this way i have saved uh, i have saved network uh, unnecessary network call f uh, for the user right so uh, again uh, this is like reduces the load on the server right and then we have network first cache so if you have a scenario uh, in which you want to show the updated content but you don't uh, but due to network issue you can't show the updated content and you decide to show content from cache so that is the network first cache like first go and see the network if it is not available uh, go and see the cache uh, and then serve from the cache right and last one is my favorite like cache uh, with network fallback what does that mean so um, in this scenario we you fetch the asset from the cache only and side by side you make a requ network request for a fresh copy of the cache so if there is a fresh copy that exists uh, it will replace your last cache and from the next time you will get the updated cache so why this one is my favorite uh, as a user i get uh, i get the data uh, like on my click only because it was in my cache only right and whenever next time i come to the uh, whenever next time i come to the site i get the updated data uh, with the same uh, speed so uh, this may uh, so this was cache with network fallback Uh, does anyone has any question cool so okay uh, i guess i missed a slide and i can talk about it 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 was the why not slide uh, why not pws are good for you okay so it broadly covers two points first you cannot uh, a pwa can uh, does not allow you to request for all permissions that a phone can offer like you cannot request pwa ki aapko accelerator uh, accelerator meter ya gyroscope ka uh, permission de de or maybe the state of the state of the app uh, state of your phone so these kind of uh, device permissions uh, you cannot have all of them you can have camera and all uh, camera and some of others camera location and all, such uh, just because kyunki chrome ke paas unka access hota hai to uh, your pwa cannot make a new request jo chrome support nahi karta uh, thank uh, second thing would be why pwas are may not be good for your business uh, with pwas you cannot make inter app calls सो अभी क्या होता है व्हाट्सएप पे एक लोकेशन आती है लोकेशन पे मैंने क्लिक किया इट गिव्स मी एन ऑप्शन कि मेरे को मैप से खोलना है या ऊबर से खोलना है इन केस आई विश टू बुक एन ऊबर बट इन पी डब्ल्यू ए यू वॉन्ट हैव दिस लिबर्टी राइट सो बिकॉज पी डब्ल्यू ए को नहीं पता कि और क्या क्या एप्स इंस्टॉल्ड है अगेन द परमिशन इशू इट डज नॉट हैव द परमिशन टू व्यू द ऑल अदर एप्स ऑफ योर फोन so it um, now uh, uh implementing pwa was not an easy task uh, even for my project uh, 
there was some challenges there um, there are some challenging bas uh, challenges basically and especially if it, uh, it if it is a product based business there are things like how service worker will get updated so the solution to that uh, it is handled by browsers by what I, um, by this i mean whenever you change your service worker file a uh, browser knows that there is has been a change in a service worker file so it reruns the install pro install process and other um, activate method and waits for you um, matlab it it will reload matlab it will start implementing the new service worker file uh, on the next reload you have options to do that in the same session as well uh, i'll come to that right uh then there is there was a challenge of caching different files with different techniques so i know that there are some assets on my website that will be updated daily i know there are some assets on my website that won't be updated uh, like forever maybe the fav icon or maybe the images that i am showing with my product so i have to implement different cache techniques for different kinds of assets so how i i was able to solve it it was with uh, regex using regular expressions for each kind of file i had different regex and i used to create a different cache uh, folder for that okay uh, i'll try to uh, i'll try to show it uh, on the browser uh, after uh, after the slides yeah then there was an issue of uh, removing old assets so okay uh, your website is being updated you are storing new assets in a new type of cache but what about the old assets uh, just be, um, i think i missed to tell you chrome allocates like browsers like chrome allocate only a portion of the disk memory uh, for installation of your pwa after that it starts deleting your old assets using lru okay so but again uh, like suppose uh, chrome has given you 10 mb of storage you cannot wait for uh, like filling of those 10 mb's first and then uh, caching of your new assets um, so what i did i did versioning of the assets whenever i need to uh, whenever i need to delete an old version of an asset i change some parameter in uh, service worker file it creates a new set of folder and deletes the old kind of kinds of folders okay so limited device storage uh, as i have told chrome only allocates only a portion of your storage uh, portion of your device storage only so uh, if your device is already running full you can uh, you may not be able to get the best out of pwa because it won't be able to uh, cache more of the assets so larger the cache is more dependable your pws right so uh, it was supposed to be a hands on now uh, so since this is a different laptop uh, i uh, i'll try to show the source code uh, from the dome here okay so uh, there is a script that i have added in the so the project is in laravel so whatever my root file is the app blade file is uh, i have added a script uh, if your architecture is somewhat different you can uh, the main point of saying this is uh, 
you need you can add the script on all of your uh, on all of your pages okay so I hope this is readable. So here is a script. I'll try to translate uh, most of the words and sentences that it has. Uh, so it starts from here. It says script nuns. So why have we do add this nuns tag, uh, nuns attribute? So uh, it is just for the browser to. Uh, it, it gives assurity to the browser that this particular script has been added intentionally by the developer only and uh, no third party uh, has entered the script so so that browser executes this without any blocking so with nuns we generally do uh, mention a hash value which is rendered from the server so like there is a you know verification of that nuns value uh, to avoid such kind of uh, such kind of attacks uh, security attacks so in the service worker uh, so there is a there is an if check uh, if service worker is present in navigator so if navigator is a global object in your browser uh, if navigator has a key of service worker do the following process else uh, else you have um, else you can guess what it would be so there is an add event listener so this part is op uh, optional uh, wh what it does before the prompt uh, before you see the installation prompt in the service worker uh, like what the prompt that i have told you add to home screen wala prompt right so before install so you have an option of accepting it or declining it uh, in both the cases i fire a uh, google analytics event right if i if people are using my web apps or uh, my service worker or not my pw or not so it gives me a ga uh, it's a ga it's for ga only right so from uh, if i am if you can see there is a sentence navigator dot service worker dot register and in that i have this sw dot js so this is the uh, like core sent core code that you are looking for um, by using this instruction you are allowing uh, allowing a separate js file to register uh, to be registered as a service worker for your app so uh, since it returns a promise there is a then uh, and i have console log that service worker has registration has been successful otherwise uh, there is no registration right uh, registration has been failed so that's it that you have to do in html the part uh, the part role of html is done now if we move to the service worker code uh, in chrome you can check uh, uh, service worker code of almost every website so it is a, a uh, go to the console uh, select the application and here you have the manifest json file threat on my website and here you have a section of service workers so here you can see there is a source file of service worker uh, i can open that uh, i guess yeah okay so reading these lines very quickly uh, we most of us are familiar with use script uh, use strict right uh, we can skip that okay then i have this version variable and i have set it to v29 for now actually uh, whenever i need to update the service worker all i do run a gulp task and it does some screen, uh, string matching and it updates this version wala integer so in my next release it going it will be v30 and v31 and so on so 
what the purpose of doing this is uh, after every update i uh, i need to uh, make sure that my uh, purana cache gets deleted purana service worker gets uninstalled and this is the new service worker and things have to work or according to this okay so i uh, same thing i do for like cache name i have a cache i create a cache uh, so this is the temporary cache uh, these are the assets uh, that uh, that will be like uh, i need to refresh very frequently then i have this long term cache uh, and i i have named it like car hp keep 2 okay so whatever uh, so this is just a name of the cache car hp keep v2 मेरी मेमोरी में इस नाम का एक कैशे बन जाएगा एंड ऑल द फाइल्स दैट हैव टू बी स्टोर्ड फॉर द लॉन्ग टर्म विल बी स्टोर्ड हेयर इन द कार एच पी वी टू वाला फोल्डर ओके एंड आई हैव मेड सम फॉन्ट कैशे एंड मैनिफेस्ट कैशे फॉर द सेम जनरली यू डोंट नीड टू डू डू दिस बट वी हैड सम सीनेरियो इन आवर एप्लीकेशन एंड वी डिसाइडेड टू गो फॉर इट ओके so you can avoid it if your use case is not uh, as complicated so next i store uh, a regex for the long term assets the assets that have to be stored for long term uh, this is a regex for those uh, those kind of files similarly i have font cache and manifest cache and for the stat uh, static assets static assets uh, i am referring to css js Uh, that change very frequently on our product uh, so uh, those are managed by uh, static assets only so uh, these are just regex only so here is uh, here are the uh, life cycle events of the service worker that i was talking about um, here is an add event listener of install uh, so when service worker is in installation phase uh, when service worker is in installation phase uh, this function will be run uh, will be running okay so self dot skip waiting so what this skip waiting does uh, i told you earlier that new version would have been installed and upon the next reload uh, upon the next reload uh, you will get to see the updated service worker by using this self dot skip waiting Uh, your service worker gets installed uh, straight away like it ac gets activated straight away okay so it has started uh, so there is an activate uh, event uh, now in activate event uh, i again run a console console log for my uh, for my clarification uh, and then i have this function self dot clients dot claim so पहले हमने किया स्टॉप वेटिंग सो इट्स लाइक अ वॉचमैन वॉन्ट्स टू वर्क एट योर प्लेस ही सेज वेन शुड आई जॉइन यू से ओके जॉइन फ्रॉम टूडे ओनली सो दैट इज दैट वॉज द इंस्टॉल पार्ट एंड देन ही आस्क काम कितने बजे से शुरू करूँ वेन शुड आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग यू सेड नाउ जस्ट नाउ जस्ट स्टार्ट रिकॉर्डिंग वट इज हैपनिंग विद विद द गेट एंड ऑल सो दिस इज सेल्फ डॉट क्लाइंट्स डॉट क्लेम दैट यू स्टार्ट claiming each and every operation now okay so when my service worker gets activated uh, i need to clean the old regex so old uh, cache so i check for the keys the like i i know what new uh, new cache names i have to make uh, if my new cache names don't resemble with the old cache names i clearly delete those cache, uh, cache items so this code this much code uh, does only that so um below i have a function called fetch with save what it does it makes a network request uh and renders the new uh, renders the asset uh, serves the asset and as well as there is a clone of that a clone of a request and uh, that gets saved in the cache again when the cache is full, uh, full it give it will give you a fetching error 
like uh, your resource was not stored in the cache. So then we have cache with network fallback. So uh, this is what I was talking about. So what it does, it first checks the cache and then uh, calls the fetch with sa uh, save. Uh, both the operations ha do happen. Like it is no, uh, there is no condition. Uh, so. So yeah, uh, this was the wrapper for it. And after defining all the functions, I add, uh, I listen to the event called fetch. As I said, uh, service worker uh, watches each and every resource, resource being fetched and served. Uh, so this fetch event tells me uh, what asset uh, I am dealing with. So how it works, this source wo, uh, asset R hai, the URL of that asset. Uh, I check for that ki ye kaun se regex mein fit hai. Uh, the regex that it fits in, according to that, it goes in that particular cache folder in the browser. Did that make sense? Or do I need to repeat? So it checks for the name, uh, what kind of file I am, uh, what kind of file is being served and uh, after deciding on ki okay this fits in the this particular kind of regex that particular cache gets updated so uh, here you can see there are like for e every type of regex i have written a, a different kind of event because uh, the main reason of doing this was uh, caching different items with different kind of strategies. Uh, in car HP, uh, unfortunately we don't uh, cache the HTML uh, because of which we lose the opportunity of serving offline. Uh, but again that was a business demand and we cannot go against that. Uh, so we'll be sol we are solving that uh, right now like uh, in these days. Uh, it will be back soon. and. Uh, returning to my presentation, it's time for questions. Yes. So your question is among native apps, hybrid apps, PWAs, how to decide which technology uh, we should go for, right? So uh, I would say uh, there are different factors on which you have to take make a call. Uh, first of all, what functionality you want to achieve. If you know, uh, you are familiar with the drawbacks of hybrid apps, you know, you know the drawbacks of native apps, you know the drawbacks of PWAs. And knowing these, uh, which kind of application serves you best, right? So if you can make that differentiation, uh, you know the limits of that particular technology, uh, you will know, okay, okay, this particular technology is not good for my product and then you can take a call. Second factor would be, uh, you can limit your uh, functionalities uh, if it serves wider audience, like how Instagram does it, uh, Instagram has a PW as well as a native app as well. So what is the difference between uh, PW and native app? I don't know the details, but uh, uh, the very visible, clear, clearly visible thing was uh, in native app, they have this messenger button. Okay. In PWS, they don't have this messenger button. So uh, maybe they, um, so they are not losing any business. If anyone wants to browse through Instagram only and does not want to chat with anyone, uh, he would be comfortable in PWA, right? So it it is like, I won't say it is a trade-off, it is just uh, doing some more research on what you want to achieve, right? Any other questions? Yes.
okay so uh, to be very clear okay so you want to know the approach of uh, would i be wrong if you uh, if i say you are asking for content based website only okay okay so uh, similar to what i said earlier if you know the limitations uh, you can do that uh, when you mention forms uh, i i would like to say uh, pws don't cache the post request okay uh, can anyone tell me the reason why pws don't cache the post request it cache uh, it caches the get request but not the post security uh, okay security can be one thing uh, it after a post request the state of your server gets changed okay so again you cannot uh, so that's why uh, pws yeah don't, uh, pws don't cache our data so let's forget about the form part uh, if you want to uh, if there are uh, like websites content based website also uh, i would i would say uh, network uh, cache matlab don't do it from scratch okay for first part yeah 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 uh so yeah just add the script in the html file uh, that will install the service worker and in service worker just write a couple of functions in fetch like what kind of caching you want to use it will hardly be 10 line 10 lines of code for you that's a bonus <laughs> uh, more questions uh, related to pws my job the food i eat that's it okay thank you very much